Welcome to our YouTube series of Zero Training. Perfect if you're starting to use Zero for your small business. We've got a few short videos taking you through the basics of Zero. Watch them in order at your own pace or dip in and out of pressure from your skills. So when you log into Zero, you're always greeted with the dashboard, no matter where you left Zero. Think of it like the homepage, or probably better, like the dashboard of your business, just like a car. Its purpose is to show you all the key things in your business, give you a snapshot of all the important things you need to know. So what do we have? We have the bank account here. It shows the bank account, uh, the sort code, the account number, uh, the balance in zero, and the statement balance, the actual money in your bank account. Now, if these two balances here are different, it could be because you've got outstanding transactions on your bank account and you need to reconcile, indicated here. So here we have 32 items. And you could do that by clicking on the reconcile button. And by reconcile, what we mean is telling you zero what these transactions actually are. We also then have a pretty little graph that follows the, the balance of the bank and how it goes up and down over time. Take note, the balance per the bank may not match exactly what's in your bank account. That's because there's usually a delay of a day or so uh, for a transaction being pulled in from your bank because the details are clear, depending on who you bank with. However, it should match up to whatever date the transactions have been imported to. So in this case, 14th November. We'll leave the bank account for now and we'll come back to it later. On the top right here, we have a nice little feature that shows the gross profit margin and net profit margin for the business over the last few months, which is nice to see in track because it's obviously a, a pretty important indicator. And then here we have the accounts watch list. This highlights some of the items in the accounts you may want to keep an eye on. We usually default to these important ones for clients so they can see spend this month and year to date for each different category. It's a good way to instantly see different products or services you're selling and to keep a closer eye on them. Now this can easily be amended to suit whatever you want to see. We'll go over this later when in the chart of accounts section. And here we have invoices. It shows the invoices owed to you, any draft invoices and any invoices overdue. There's also a nice little graph here that shows you when money is expected in based on the invoice due dates. And down here we have the bills that you need to pay. Same as invoices except the other way around. A good way to quickly check who you owe and when and any payments that are coming up. And here finally we have the total cash in and cash out. Which is a cool little graph showing cash movement in and out of the business linked to the bank account. Now don't get this confused with profit. It's not the same but it's good to see the cash flow movement and how much cash your business needs on a monthly basis. And that is the Zero Dashboard. When you're ready, check out our next video in the Zero Training series, Navigation Tricks and Tips. If you enjoyed this video and found it useful, do us a big favor and hit the like button or subscribe to our channel to see future videos.